Hey guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. In today's video I have a baby haul which is probably coming unexpected unless you watched my last video where I hinted to you guys that I actually am pregnant. Yes I am. That's why I have disappeared from my channel for two months now. Um, basically when I found out I was pregnant I was very sick and I wasn't feeling well and I was of course throwing up and everything so here I am with another video we are really throwing them out here as you can tell by the title today we have a baby haul I am only four months pregnant like 14 weeks and two days pregnant so I'm excited I did get some stuff I do not know what I am having yet whether I'm having a boy or a girl so I tried to keep that in mind as far as buying clothes um, I also don't want to go too overboard with clothes because when you have a baby shower, you typically get clothes, diapers, wipes, um, covers, swaddles, things like that. So I really want to focus on buying the bigger items, but I went to Goodwill today and I wasn't going to pass up those amazingly priced clothes. So make sure you go and check out your local Goodwill because they have amazing stuff. So the first things that I got actually aren't from Goodwill. They are from Walmart and one is from Amazon. So the first thing I got from Amazon is this blanket. This is the first baby blanket that I have. It is this gray color with light blue accents and white. Um... And then the back is like this, I don't know what you would call this. It looks pointy, but it's not. This is like so soft and so freaking cozy. This is the softest blanket I have ever seen and I love it. I wish I just could keep it for myself, but unfortunately it's not big enough for me, but it is big enough for the baby. So I did get a blanket like this because I have been thinking of the baby's room. Even though I don't know what the sex is, I do want the basics of the baby's room to be gray. And then I'm going to play around with the colors, whether it's a boy or a girl. I love light blue. That is my favorite color. So I do want to include light blue, especially if it's a girl. I'm going to include light blue, pastel pinks, pastel yellows. If it's a boy, I'm thinking gray with dark blue or blue, yellows and reds. I think that could be cute. And either way, this blanket will be cute, whether it's a boy or a girl. So who cares? The next thing I got are these water wipes and I got these because they are recommended by a lot of moms on YouTube because they are 99% water. So I just wanted to get them and try them out for myself just so I can compare them to the um, Pampers Aqua Wipes because I want to know which wipes I'm going to be using especially when my baby is first born. So you know wipes that will be better for their skin. So I got these so that I can start testing them out and, you know, seeing how good they really are on the skin and everything. The next thing I picked up is the Draft Stage 1 Newborn um, Detergent. This has zero added chlorine, dyes, and phosphates, hypoallergenic, and gentle on sensitive skin. I got this because it is recommended by a lot of moms on YouTube that you use this when you are washing your baby's clothes, which I do plan on washing all clothes, especially if I get them at the thrift store and if I get them at Walmart, so, or anywhere I get them, I just wanna wash them so that way I know 100% that they're clean and ready to go on my baby. Okay, so the next thing that is not from the thrift store is this little stuffed animal. I actually got this stuffed, or we, me and my husband actually got this stuffed animal when we were on vacation in Florida, we went to an arcade and you know when you're at an arcade, you can, ooh, it's, when you're at an arcade, you can um, play games and then they give you tickets, like if you go to Chuck E. Cheese or something. So this was one of the things we got with our tokens. I'm just going to be putting this in a baby's room. It is super duper cute. All right, so let's get on with the haul. I did get a couple things for myself just because, you know, being pregnant and everything, I'm it's starting to get a little bit harder for me to find clothes that I already have that are comfy. So I just wanted to get some new items with summer coming up. So the first thing I got are the Suzanne Betro shorts. They are high waisted and they seem very good quality. Um, so I just got these. I wore some shorts on vacation and although 
I didn't think I was a fan of shorts because I've never been a fan of shorts in the past. I definitely prefer dresses. I was actually in love with the shorts that I wore when I was on vacation. So I decided I would pick up some more. And then I found these just very gray, comfy shorts. These are the Jennifer Lauren Plus shorts in a size 3x and they're just you know gray sweat shorts that you can just wear around the house or wear running to some errands to the store especially in the summer if it's a hot day it's very light and airy i got this corvette shirt and yes this is kind of cropped not really but it's super cute super cute thin won't keep me too hot because that is a problem that i have is being too hot i have hot flashes well, not exactly hot flashes, but I can get hot or I can get cold so easily. So I also picked up this Champion tank top. It's so cute. The mesh back is just going to keep you very cool in the summertime. If I decide to go on any walks or anything or if I'm just chilling around the house. The next thing I picked up is this Lion King shirt that says no worries. Honestly, this is only going to fit for a little bit and it's going to be one of those like tighter crop top fits. Right now, I'm not really showing yet, even though I am four months. I am thinking that in, within the next month, I'm going to start showing, like really having a pregnancy belly. So, yeah. I picked up this Betty Boop shirt, and I really don't go for red items, but it just looks flowy and easy to wear. So, I picked this up as well. I'm already getting like out of breath and tired. I picked up this men's um, Fruit of the Loom 2X light blue shirt. Like I said, I love light blue, as you can tell by my nails. So I picked this up because even if my belly starts showing, it'll still be a comfortable fit, something I can wear. And then I found some maternity pants. I have never tried on maternity pants. I don't even know like if the sizing is the same as normal pants. So I got these maternity pants. They are in a size 2X. Yeah, they're in a size 2X. So they just look like this. They're not super thick. They do have some stretch, of course, and then they're just a skinny jean. So I got these just to try on and at least see how they fit so I can know if I need to size up or size down. Now we can get on to the baby item. Okay, so the first baby item I picked up is actually this book called Your Pregnancy and Childbirth, Month to Month. Um, I already started reading it and it just goes over, you know, how you'll feel month to month with your pregnancy. It also goes over tips for your labor and delivery, things you should make sure you're asking your doctor, things you'll go through at your appointments. Um, it also goes through um birth control for after you have your baby goes over breastfeeding and just a lot of different things it also goes over any complications placenta problems testing um checking you know your, your appointments after so i feel like there's going to be a lot of great information in this that i can use during my pregnancy as well as after my pregnancy and you know it's a, it's a thick book and i like to read so i did pick up two books for the baby i actually got him another book but my nephew was here when i unboxed it and he really wanted it it was good night moon so i'm just gonna order it off amazon again it was only like five dollars anyway so i picked up this book that just says christmas and it's a slide and find book so it's really cute and easy um can be interactive once my baby gets a little bit older says for ages one and up so it is a thicker book not that easy to bend or rip which i really wanted when i'm looking for books for a younger baby you know from a couple months to a couple years i don't want to have a bunch of paperback books that they can just tear up very easily um also my baby is due september 25th this year so that's basically october basically will be October and Christmas Thanksgiving coming up after that so I, that's why I picked up some Christmas book already and I also picked up this Halloween book that has this super cute fuzziness around it called Monster Halloween by Quentin I've never heard of this person but I think it's just like maybe a self 
done author i'll have to look into this but you know it's super cute halloween book since my baby will be born just in time for my favorite season which is fall i love everything fall now we can get into the clothing and first let me start by saying do not judge if you're going to judge you know i am a first time mom buying baby clothes and I am not going to go out and buy a bunch of expensive baby clothes, especially if I don't know what I'm having yet. So if you are one of those people who like to judge people who go to the thrift store, then you don't even need to watch this video. I should have said this in the beginning, but I didn't. So do not judge the clothes I got. A lot of these clothes are basically brand new and they were only a dollar, which is much cheaper than what you would get them for in the store. So if you feel the need to judge that, then you can go ahead and click off this video. Thank you. So I tried to stick to basic gender neutral items that I felt a girl or a boy could wear, especially when they're first born. So I have a lot of white pieces. So this one is from Carter's, Just One You, made by Carter's. This is a newborn. It was only 99 cent. So this is what it looks like. Of course, it's just a white onesie, super cute. I did not even know newborn clothes were this small. Like I never really paid attention. By the time I started buying, buying clothes for my nephew, I was buying like zero to three months or six to nine months clothes that he would be able to wear when he was bigger. So this is so cute. I just can't believe it's so small. Like I said, I got a lot of onesies. Um, So I did get a lot of Gerber as well. This is Gerber zero to three months. I can't believe this is zero to three months. It looks almost the same size as the newborn. So again, this was only 99 cents and basically looks new. Still, all of these clothes are going to be washed. I picked up another one for 99 cents and this is a newborn Gerber. It says Ger on it, it's just gray and I thought it was super cute. I know that you know you might not think you see a girl in this, but I feel like when your baby is a newborn, especially within the first couple months that they're born, you're not really leaving the house a lot, so it doesn't really matter what they're wearing, as long as it's comfy for them and it's easy for you to get access to their diaper and everything like that. The next thing I got is from a brand called Popular, and this is a six month, was only 99 cent. Basically everything that I bought as far as baby clothes were only 99 cent to 199. So I'm not gonna keep saying the prices. It says, if you think I'm cute, you should see my mommy, Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, which is actually where we were supposed to go for vacation instead of Florida, but we didn't. I thought this is super cute and it's just this blue color. I told you guys before, I love blue. Blue is my favorite color. Like I love blue. I did make sure I checked out if they had any onesies that had zippers because a lot of the moms were recommending that if you are, you know, a first time mom that you get clothings with zippers because it makes it a lot easier when you're going to either dress, undress, change your baby's diaper or anything like that. This is from Wonder Nation and it is just a footed onesie that says happy and it does have the zipper all the way down. I would have preferred if the zipper started at the bottom so that way if I just needed to change the diaper I could start at the bottom but this is super cute and it is six to nine months which is why it's so big. I have another onesie from Gerber which is zero to three months just a white onesie. I feel like things that are just plain especially white onesies you can never have too much of because you never know if they get a stain and you have a bunch more you don't have to worry about anything you can pair them with anything that you want. So I have another Gerber zero to three months. Again, I don't have to keep explaining the white onesie. You can never have too many white onesies. White onesies, they go with anything, boy or girl, it doesn't matter. Um, another white onesie, this is the newborn size. I didn't get a ton of newborn stuff. I probably only got like five things, mainly because I didn't have a ton of newborn stuff that wasn't specifically girl or boy. They had so much girl. If you want a hint, I do think I'm having a girl. Um, so it's gonna be exciting to see if it if she, the baby is actually a girl or a boy, but I do feel like I'm having a girl, but I didn't want to rush into buying a bunch of girl stuff and then I'm having a boy. Um, this one is from Old Navy. It's a three to six months and it says, I make this diaper look amazing. This is so cute again with the blue and like green blue lettering. I thought this was so cute and I consider this unisex. 
I would put this on a boy or a girl. The next one I got is from Gerber. This is the organic cotton one. The, it says three to nine months, but in my opinion, I feel like maybe it's like either six or six to nine. This is a little bit big, but it's so cute again with the blue. I don't know, blue is just really my thing. It's just really a vibe when it comes to babies or anything. I think it's so cute, but I did stray as you can see. Um, this is from Carter's. This is a three month onesie that is just a super cute little frog. And I thought it was so cute. It is so cute. So cute. Baby clothes are so cute. Another one. Gerber three, zero to three months, another white onesie. As I can say, I can't say it too, I can't say it any more than I've already said it. I've drilled it into you, but white onesies are essential. I mean, you can't go wrong with a white onesie. You just can't go wrong. Um, This is a Puma zero to three month onesie. And I know on screen, okay, you can see it. It's blue and like green around it. This was so cute. And y'all, this was only 99 cent. For a puma onesie like imagine this with some little freaking puma socks on or something so cute zero to three months and i know that when my baby is born it is going to be colder outside but you can definitely layer things like this up so putting this little onesie on with some joggers and then a jacket or a coat over it is going to be super cute so that is why i didn't let the fact that my baby is going to be born in september stray me because in my opinion, September can be kind of warm as well. So when my baby is first born, I want them to have options. Um, I don't want them to be too cold. I don't want them to be too, I don't want them to be cold at all, but I don't want them to be too warm. So the next one I got again is a white one. This is Gerber three to six months. And this, you, this doesn't even look like it's been worn aside from the fact that it's a little wrinkled, but it wasn't wrinkled at the store. So it could have just been because I balled it up in this bag after showing my husband. The next one we have is from Carter's. It is a six month onesie and it says little peanut. It's gray and it's super cute and it has the buttons down here. So that way if you are changing the baby, you can just button, unbutton down here, change them and then button it back up. It is long sleeves, super comfortable if they're sleeping or you know, if it's just a colder day. I don't yet have the outfit that I want to take them home in the hospital in. I'm still on the lookout for that outfit. Okay, so we have black. Can't go wrong with black either. This is a 12 month. It says I'm rolling with my mommy. It is so cute. I was showing my husband all this stuff and he was constantly seeing things that mentioned mommy on it or baby and mommy, stuff like that. And I had to remind him, I was just like, sir, I'm going to get you some baby clothes that say daddy on it, but they just didn't have any there. So, you know, I just have to look elsewhere. I do think I'm going to Once Upon a Child probably tomorrow just because I want to look and see if they have any car seats, any stroller sets, anything like that. So, calm down. The next one I got is this super cute Carter's 18 month gray onesie that has this little blue and white bear on it that says hello can you guys see that it's so cute there's not much more i can keep saying about these clothes they're just so cute i have another gray onesie this one is a plain gray onesie and this is for carter's six months plain gray onesie looks like this honestly it looks a little bit small oh no it doesn't it looks fine i think it looks fine so there you go plain gray onesie can't go wrong with any just basic colors this one i found doesn't even look like it's even been worn or touched this is from contact baby this is a zero to three months onesie again with the white and blue and i love when clothing has this like contrasted color um lining and it's so cute with all the different color blue stars on it it is super duper cute. Did you think that we were done with the white ones? No. This is a Old Navy 6 to 12 month onesie. It is sleeve. Yeah, you can wear sleeves in the springtime, especially on a baby. They get cold easily. So it is sleeves. It's, I mean, it's just another basic piece with sleeves. Only two more left, guys. I, I kind of went ham, honestly. Only two more left. Oh, three more left. Um, This one... 
actually doesn't have a size on it. I was surprised, I didn't even know when I was showing my husband this that I had actually picked this up because it doesn't have a size on it. Um, on the thing, it says six months. It is light blue. It says fam, F-A-M. I was, I didn't even know that I put this in my cart, but it does look new. So, you know, six months, maybe like six to 12 or six to nine, cause it's kind of big. And then we have another, we have one more white onesie. This is the Gerber three to three, zero to three months. I'm sorry. Zero to three months onesie again. I think I got like five of those literally. And last but not least, we have this super cute like orangey tiger. This is a okie dokie six month. To me, it kind of looks a little bit small, like maybe a three to six month, but it's super cute, orange color, bright and pretty, and will be actually usable when my baby is born because orange is definitely a fall time color. That is all that I got for my baby right now, you guys. I, like I said, I don't want to get too much clothing because you get a lot of clothing when you have your baby shower. And again, I don't know what I'm having yet. I think I find out at my next appointment, which is in like two weeks. So I'm going to try to hold off on clothes until then, because if it is a girl or if it is a boy, I do want to get more specific clothes. Like, especially if it's a girl, there are such cute girly clothes out there, like... Girls have it made, honestly. They It's so easy to shop for cute clothes for a girl. Boys, I feel like you try to more stay on the side of Nike and Adidas and things like that because, you know, they don't have that much that they're working with. Like, if you go to TJ Maxx, there is so much more stuff for girls than there is for boys. I'm just going to say it. It is. Um, but yeah, so that's everything that I got. If you liked this video or you liked anything I got, make sure that you give this video a huge thumbs up because that would really help your girl out. Um, if you want to see more baby videos or follow along my pregnancy journey, then make sure you hit the subscribe button. That as well would help me out tremendously. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.